Yeah, I don't think the health inspector will be uh, passing this place. Holy crap, I was not expecting to see this out today for HHM. I will be a universal I'm Let's just say that. I might be ordering a cup of coffee. Oh, I know what it was. Just as long as Little Boo knows his place, man. Okay, guys, we got a big day. A lot of Halloween Hornets updates. A lot of Little Boo updates. Uh, I went to the P.O. box. It always blows my mind that you guys send stuff. It's gonna be from Cassie. Oh my god. Wow. All right, this is good. Okay, this is amazing. As you know, I love my like tacky shirts, right? And being from Maryland, Old Bay. <laughs> This is, this is a 10 out of 10 shirt. Thank you so much. So the Orlando airport Twitter is amazing. And they tweeted out something new appeared in the planter today by the Universal Orlando store. Looks like a wicked growth. It's Little Boo. Then I also got a birthday card from Maryland. Thank you so much for the birthday card. You guys are awesome. Now it also looks like today that um, someone did it. Someone got a Little Boo tattoo. That happened. I respect the person who did it. All right, this is from the right fam. I like it. Oh my God. God, you guys. I feel like there's a theme. I feel like you guys know me a little too well. Old Bay Goldfish. Now these are limited edition. Oh. Okay, these are being gone with it within a day. Chad and Vanessa, thank you so much for this uh, sweet card. They used to be cast members, so thank you for making the magic. Let's see. Let's see. Yes! <laughs> Alright, now Kate's this amazing artist. She was selling these at Star Wars Celebration in the little artist booth. Live shows, Jabba's Palace. This is great. Thank you so much, Kate. Here's a good little shot of it. Guys, thank you so much for everything that you sent me in the P.O. Box. It really means a lot when you guys send stuff. Now, it is time to go to Universal Studios and update you guys about everything Halloween Horror Night and our boy, Lil Boo. Alright guys, we are at Universal. Our uh, Lil Boo and Savior graced us with some new stuff for Halloween Horror Nights. They've added so much more in the scare zones. I'm really excited to show you guys what Universal has put in the park today. Here at the movie theater at City Walk, they have all these advertisements for the movie Nope. I saw the movie Nope. I don't know, what did you guys think? I thought it was a refreshing take on Aliens. I thought the sound design was amazing in Dolby. I thought it was uh, breathtaking, but I, I thought it was a good movie. I didn't think it was a great movie. I think it was 7 out of 10. It was lacking something for me. Well, let's just take a second to talk about Minions Rise of Gru. Um, it has now made $900 million. Yeah. Uh, let's pop in the Universal Studios store here at City Walk. They have a, a dress a minion. So you gotta purchase a minion for $19 and you can get different outfits for him. So it's kind of like Build-A-Bear, but minion? Be a little unicorn. I haven't seen this stuff in a while. $27, the doy shirt, woman shirt, says love. And then over here we have some big pink earrings. You're looking at $14. Then over here, I think these are more big pink earrings. And then for $26, they have this little like uh, big pink coin purse. It's only like 105 degrees today, but for $50, they have this hoodie. It says, mmm, forbidden donut. Look at Homer going to town. Now, I haven't had one of these donuts in a while. I just remember they were 1,600 calories a donut, though. Now, for uh, $25, if you really want to impress your girl on a special occasion, put these on. Homer boxers. He's, um, is he breaking a scale right there, chasing after a donut? And this shirt always just makes me so uncomfortable. It's $25. It's just a sugar daddy on it. I have never noticed this before. Over here is the blueprints for different things in Springfield. So like you have the ride vehicle for the Simpsons ride that makes me very nauseous. And then over here you have the bar where, you know, you can get your duff beer. And then over here is like the minion section, right? So it's a blueprint for the minions ride. And then the ride vehicle. How have I never noticed this before? It's stuff like this, right? You come to Universal, there's so many deep details that people don't realize. I'm an idiot, like over here. It's like the incredible whole ride vehicle. Every single spot where there's merchandise is a blueprint for something to having to do with the area or the ride that the merchandise is from. Like there's like Hagrid. Okay, so next time come in the Universal City Walk store and you can come and see all these little blueprints. This wasn't my favorite one. I think a legacy store is a superior Universal store here at City Walk, but it does have some charm now that I know there's all these little blueprints everywhere at the top. I thought this was some sort of like loofah or something, but it's like a little coin purse for each one of the houses. You're looking at $18, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, Gryffindor, and Slytherin. Looks like something you put soap on to like scrub your body with. For $20, they have this little mouth for it. They got his RBF face down pretty uh, good for the little plush. And they have a little Hermione. Bobby, what is going on with you? Push my chest to try me. I feel like he's like an angry mobster, like try me. Like try to touch me, see, see what happens. Dobby, will you work? Oh God, he's alive. Oh, now he's dead, now he's alive. That is just creepy. I do not like this animatronic at all. You're looking at $45. 
for that little Dobby. They raised the prices of Chocolate Frog. $14 for a standard one, and then the collectible tin is $30. Here we go. The Universal Studios Florida. I love that there's a little breeze happening right now. Before you know it, there's going to be thousands and thousands of people lined up. And then we're doing the opening ceremony right here at the gates for HHN. We're going to hop in the Universal Studios store real quick. Okay, now for $25, they have the little unicorn pillow, but the problem is they're not showing the other eye. So it just looks like a weird Cyclops. You're like, what the heck is this thing? It almost looks like Totoro or something when you look at it like that. $26 in your ET hat. I'll be right here. But for $15, they have another mug. I'll be right here. So a lot of the tribute store merchandise from the retro tribute store are coming to the other gift shop. So don't worry, if you didn't get it, it'll probably end up in the other gift shop. I don't know, has anyone ever bought these Today Cafe little plates? and mug to support your boy Al Roker. And then we saw the Malfoy one at the Universal City Walk gift shop, but they have a little Death Eater here. He's really cute. He doesn't look too menacing or terrifying. All right, now Labby, growing up, everybody had their dream car. What was your dream car that you wish you could have turned into a cab? Oh my God, okay. Oh, I know what it was. I used to have a dream car that I loved, and it, I don't think it would ever make a good taxi, but it was a Honda Del Sol. Whoa. It was, yes, it was <laughs> metallic green, and I loved that car. And it was a very cool car. That would be my answer. How many years did you have it? Oh, um, probably about 10 years. Probably. Oh, wow. That's a big part of your life then. Oh, yeah. That's oh a great gosh. car. So the Honda Del Sol. <laughs> Alright, Cabby. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay, we are heading off into... I've been saying Needlewood. Y'all been roasting me. It's Nettlewood Cemetery. Is that... Did I say that right? Nettle... Nettlewood Cemetery. Now, they've added a bunch of, like, moss and everything. It looks nice and spooky. But there's the sign. Yeah, so all of this was not here two days ago. Oh, it's like dead flowers and dead leaves. Now, this is looking spooky. Before, I was like, okay, this is fine. But now, it's like in true Halloween Horror Nights vibes. All right, the Mystery Machine is out. What do they have on their, uh, their dash? Yeah, they have one of the Funko Pops right there. Right here. We have um, some Scooby-Doo Teddy Grahams. They look a little sun faded. I don't know if I would eat those. Then they have another one of the Scooby-Doo Funko Pop. Now, if you look on the inside, you can kind of see they have some of the characters of themselves near the dash. Now, they've added a bunch of speakers. It's like a giant, what, subwoofer? Probably hide these with something. But again, they've added all the moss and dead foliage. Oh, they added a tree here. This, this, this is not here. So we have like some brick, some overgrown grass, and a tree that is in the middle of a scare zone now. There's just some more shots of all the foliage. There's another speaker system. It's like overnight, they're able to accomplish so much here at Hornites. My oh, man, seeing this stuff. Whoa, look at that. Like it's so, I'm so excited right now. Another tree, more foliage. It's looking great. Oh, I cannot wait for this scare zone. Now Patrick and Spongebob are out meeting with everyone right now. And everybody's favorite meet and greet, Squidward right there. Okay, this is all new. This looks like a Day of the Dead bar that they're going to be doing. So a bunch of the skulls. Each one of the skulls has a different design, which I appreciate. Somebody took the time to design each one of those. They have flowers. It looks like they'll have uh, also food here. We don't know too much about the menu for HHN. I heard they're doing fried PB&J. We'll, we'll see about that, but we'll find out. I think tonight is the night where all the scare actors get to find out their roles, and then a little bit later is when all the food prep starts happening with culinary. We'll know more about scare zones than food. This is bright neon. The menu boards and over here. They got skulls all along this. Now I hope they put like signage above the, I guess, the little food booth. My biggest problem with Mardi Gras was they had all these booths, but there were no names on top of them. So you didn't know where you were eating, what was happening. It was just a mess. I know these food booths next to kids don't have, just literally sprouted up overnight. We have this one, it's like pumpkin pictures. I hope this is just kind of a placeholder because this just kind of looks a little weak. It's just pictures of uh, scarecrows. They have a big scarecrow, I guess, on like the main door, menacing over people. This is probably a bar, just kind of the standard non-themed tents or like normally bars. It looks like a church or cathedral. In the windows, it almost looks like you're looking into like a laboratory or something. I don't know, there's like jars and candles of something. That looks, almost looks like a ghost. But then up here, look at these symbols. You got a skull with a bat on the forehead. It's a cool design. I wonder what that all says. But there's gonna be three of them. And then over here, there's some more stained glass. And then this is probably where menu will go. Huh. Uh, it is kind of a good sign that they kind of a themed menu board area with a light so people can see what they're serving. Here's a little better shot of the little cathedral. Shrek Swamp Meat, we're over here. It looks like Donkey's finally here, so we, we can ask him a little question. I love the new crib. It looks yeah, great. Yeah, it's pretty nice, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's kind of similar, but I'm a little bit different. You needed the shade. Look at Full... the tree. Hello? Oh, yes. 
Yes. Wonderful little treat. Oh, does, does it talk oxygen. to you? It does. It says, you're awesome. Oh, wow. All day. It's like my little affirmation tree. <laughs> All right, we have a quick little question for you. Okay. We got to get your hot take. How do you feel about little Boo? There's a little pumpkin. He's kind of taking your uh, thunder right now. Uh, you know what? It's fine. Well, I'm more than willing to share the spotlight just as long as little Boo knows his place, man. <laughs> I'm number wow. one. Right, subscribers? Yeah. Click and like. <laughs> What's that? I was gonna make a joke like Shrek Little Pooh. Silent night. It was great seeing you. I love the new crib. You have a whole line. I'll see y'all later. Oh, that donkey meet and greet is so much more enjoyable. You kind of get the overhang and the shade, or you just be kind of like roasting out. Next to the Transformers, there's all this loud music, and sometimes it's hard to hear Donkey and Fiona. And I really enjoyed that they put that back there. I thought that was a great use of the space. All right, now we're entering the Springfield right now. There's another booth. These things are massive. I don't think you realize how tall these are. These aren't little booths anymore. Um, I have a feeling this is Chucky, right? It gives me very good boy vibes with like the yellow and the blue, and there's blood everywhere. It's like bloody handprints, and they got like where the menu will be, but yeah, there's just blood everywhere. Yeah, I don't think the health inspector will be uh, passing this place. I I, I'm excited. It's hard to judge these like food booths now because they just put out the first portion. Over the next couple days and weeks, we're gonna see so much more detail added to these things. They're, just, they're going above and beyond creating these like themed booths. And the food, it was quite inventive last year. So I'm excited to see what happens this year. All right, let's uh, keep exploring this. <laughs> oh, it's getting hot. Okay, it looks like the car is gone. That little police car that the kids would always climb on top of is gone. I guess they're repaving it because this is all cut out wood. And it's all blocked off. Bart and Homer are doing a little meet and greet hugging on people. So I'm in a black. They added a little bar tent. And then here is where that giant wall was literally a couple days ago. They repaved it all. Okay, I'm happy this is happening so quick. I was kind of worried there for a hot second. Now outside the old Fear Factor live stage, they added another tent. I don't know if this one is going to be themed or not. Or if this will be the just a standard bar. All right, here's a little tent over here. Now they do have a little bit of signage up. It's kind of like a cut out of a pumpkin. This is where the menu will be. But it's all happening so quick. Something is happening over here on the pier. Let's go check it out. We're heading into the pier. Right now this is where the menu board is going to be is this a food booth no no i don't think they've ever had a bar back here these are all aren't these like nordic symbols like viking symbols okay we have to go home and do some research about what these symbols mean i don't think i've ever like really been over here uh they have a, a bar set up it's a big bar what does this symbol mean so there's three of these like towers with carvings. It almost looks like there's gonna be lights behind it. You can kind of see there's kind of a translucent material, kind of like a plastic. So I think these are gonna light up during the night. I would say probably green or yellow. Yeah, there's more symbols back here. Oh, it just keeps going back here. What? How big is this bar gonna be? This is gonna be like the main hub for the bar and all the alcohol. They probably set it all up back here is because there's so much construction happening kind of where a lot of the bars and the booths are over by, you know, Monsters Cafe and everything. So I think that's why they're kind of making these other bar areas back here, which is nice because there's so much seating to kind of hang out. Holy crap, I was not expecting to see this out today for HHM. Covering up the Fast and the Furious cars, you can still hear the, the fist pumping music in the back. But this all looks Viking themed. That was kind of the rumor for the scare zone. So there's all these symbols. Again, we have to do some research when we get back but it looks like a cauldron there's probably gonna be a witch here doing like a sacrifice or something there's all the symbols there there's an eye up there and like a horn on the door this is a really highly detailed little set this looks magnificent whoever was behind sculpting this did an amazing job speakers over here it's like slimer put this one up all right so on the back there's an entrance here there's a door here you can see the hinges so it looks like it opens and closes and another walkway here so there will probably be multiple scare actors up here on the stage then again they literally put this up overnight holy crap is this a little hidden mickey i see or a hidden ghost if you look closely underneath the cauldron there's like a little uh there's some ventilation or something happens so there are probably smoke effects that come out That almost looks like a face up there. That almost looks like Boss Nass from episode one. Am I the only one seeing that? I'll probably set up more little stages and everything around this area in the next couple days or weeks. Over by Starbucks. Again, they put it up another bar tent. Now, Universal is just so fast and efficient with putting stuff up and building things. And you look at Disney and stuff takes literally months to do one little concrete pavement area. Now the mummy is still not open. I think I know when it might happen. 
Now, they're gonna have the annual pass holder appreciation days on the latest magnet. They have like the beetle from the mummy. The annual pass holder appreciation day starts on August 15th. I think that is when the mummy is gonna open, August 15th. Uh, the tribute store is closed up. They've put closed on it, and before you know it, Spirit Halloween will be taking it over for the next tribute store. All right, this is all pretty much the same, except they've added a truck here. It says Major Sweets Company, and you know, we got little Boo right there, but there's a little detail on the license plate. It spells out Major Sweets with a 33. All right, on the front, it says Killer Taste Major Sweets Candy Company. Now they set up another bar tent right here. This uh, food booth does not have the facade up, but there is brick outside here. And the Transformers queue, there's all these like crates and military stuff they've removed all of this uh, they're gonna turn it into a bar that's what they always do for hhn there's be a lot of alcohol everywhere this year uh, another food booth they'll put up a facade probably over the next couple days it's an actual view of disney executives trying to take notes about universal but they've added up all these trusses they'll probably add fire like they did last year okay so guys we are back at home everything is happening so fast and i'm loving it right i was so worried i was like okay universal's got a lot to do will they be able to finish it in time food booths are going up so quick so you remember i was like i think mummy august 15th talking with some people i will be at universal on monday august 15th let's just say that i might be ordering a cup of coffee there's no official announcement of when the mummy will be reopening but it sounds like august 15th but i'm just excited every couple days right to go Go back to HHN and just see all this new stuff and what the creative team is pumping out. The tribute store will be opening probably in like a couple weeks. It's always such a quick turnaround for that. I'm loving it. I hope you guys are really enjoying these like HHN update videos because they're a lot of fun. Again, we kind of talked about like the theme of this year. It's going to be Halloween Horror Night 31. So the whole theme is kind of like retro Halloween because it's the 31st year, October 31st, Halloween. You guys get it. Your actors are starting to get their fittings. So we're going to find out more and I'm really excited. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. If you haven't already hit the subscribe button join the family i love it family because i'm gonna keep you up to date and all things spooky and scary around orlando i love you all please stay safe and i'll see y'all very soon but it was a honda del sol hey, no, no, no.